I'm going to put an op-ed title up on the screen. Elon Musk, free speech absolutist, may be Trump's Twitter ticket. Joe Concha wrote it, and John C Joe Concha joins me now. You think that Musk is Trump's ticket back onto Twitter? Based on Elon Musk's own words, Stu, right? Yeah. He calls himself a free speech absolutist. Yeah. He put up a poll just not too long ago asking, hey, does Twitter embrace free speech? And 70% of people responding said no. And then he goes out and buys all this stock with Twitter, $2.64 billion worth just right. this year alone, right? Says, I don't want to be on the board anymore because that, as Kelly just reported, that doesn't limit his stake in the company. He's going to own that thing outright. But at some later. point, I mean, if he does own it outright or if he wants to have influence and he wants a free speech, at some point you do have to say, no, you can't cannot say that on Twitter. Right. I mean, so, you, yeah, he has to be a censor at some point. Everybody does. It's the same problem for everybody who's trying to run a social network, I know. isn't it? It is, yeah. It's just so hard. When you have millions upon millions of people posting billions upon billions of messages, how do you police that and where do you draw the line, right? I understand what you're saying. You have to have standards. But as far as Trump is concerned and him coming back, mm -hmm. he has a venture called True Social. You know how many times Trump has posted on True Social? Once. That's it? You would think, to bring attention to it, that the prolific tweeter in Donald Trump would be using his own platform more, but he's not for some reason. Is it right? a failure? It is, I think. Uh, they already have two major executives that have left, and not a lot of people are talking about it. There's not a lot of buzz. Uh, so I don't think this thing's going to last very long. And if Trump wants to run for president again, Twitter is his way to communicate and get around what he calls the media buffer. So Musk may be the gatekeeper that allows Trump back on Twitter to yeah. reestablish his presence. Okay, I got that. You know what the most delicious part is? Tell me. Elon Musk is the electric car guy. So liberals loved him, and now they're saying that he's a threat to, to democracy because he wants more people to have free speech. It's that is funny. incredible when you think about it, isn't it? I mean, he's the, he's the electric car guy. Yeah. He's the tunneling guy. Mm -hmm. He's all kinds of guys. And now suddenly he's a social media guy He's Gordon well. Gecko. Oh, he doesn't pay taxes. He's evil. <laughs> yeah. But he gets the environment cleaner. Go figure. It's very confusing. Well, one quick thing. Whilst you were at home this weekend, I yeah. bet you saw Boris Johnson walking through the streets of Kiev. Yeah. I thought it was a terrific public relations coup for him. Him and the Ukrainians. What Optics so matter, Stu, right? And you remember Churchill during the Blitz. Well, you don't remember. You weren't born at the time. But uh, Churchill during the Blitz walking through London, Boris Johnson yep. walking through Kiev, and where's Joe Biden? Somewhere in Delaware. Stu. You think he would go? Biden? No. No? He doesn't like to work very much. Oh. I, no, hey, man, I'm, I'm basing on his schedule every day. And if you look at it, let's put it this way, my kindergartner works harder than this guy at this point. And that, that, that's part of his problem. He doesn't look like he's doing the job. Okay. Not putting the effort in. All right. Ooh, yeah. Strong stuff this morning, Joe. It's a Monday, you know. All right. Thanks very much, Mr. Concha. Thank you.